Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3. We are going to be going to tell the Baron that we want to take Yuma. <clears throat> so I've been been playing Dark Souls 2, uh, the Scholar of the First Sin, because uh, I'm going to do a no bonfire, no death run. Uh, and I need to prep for that, and I also need to finish the DLC I didn't finish. Because uh, when that game came out, that was just right around when my foot... I think it was a few, like a week or two after I injured my foot. So I really had no desire to play it. I felt like, you know, when you're in a bunch of pain and you take some pain pills and different stuff so that uh, you can manage to just be awake, I guess, because that's how bad my foot hurt. Um, what am I... I just completely... But I didn't feel like playing it. You you can see I have four episodes of a, walk, of a Let's Play for it, but I just got... I was just only playing it like a half hour a week or something, so it took me forever to beat it. Um, and then I never beat the DLCs, I just beat the main game, uh, and then created my build, uh, my PvE build. Uh, I never play PvP, so, like, I just level up to wherever the hell I want to. Um, and most of the time I just play offline. Let's talk to the sergeant here. Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Alright, let's go get Yuma, but like I was saying, um, I love Dark Souls, I can't wait for Dark Souls 3, I was disappointed that Bloodborne was only a PS4 exclusive, but uh, it doesn't look like there's a huge variety in that game, still would love to play it, I still will get to play it um, once I go back to college, um, even though I'm living at home this sem this next semester at least, oh, I just need to talk to this guy. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hardle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know, catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses? Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games? Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door, now. Hey, little guy. This here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. What the? Quit playing around. Let's go. Alright, but like what I was saying, um, I am living at home uh, for at least this first semester uh, because I want to have... And this is lagging, but I want to have the easiest time because my foot still won't be 100% this next semester. So I still want to, I want to be at home, I want to be comfortable, I want to, you know, um, I don't want to feel obligated. Like, this sounds awful, but I want to feel obligated to go do stuff and be 100% be social. Like, obviously I'll be social while I'm up there doing classes and whatnot and hang out with my friends, but I kind of just want to relax and get this foot back to 100%.
Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. All right, let's go talk to the to the emperor. But uh, so I'll be home, so I'm gonna be trying to continue with these let's play videos. School obviously needs to come first, then it's me watching sports, then it's then it's this. But um, I'm gonna do my best to try to keep. I'm gonna try to do at least two videos a day once we get into school. Um, but I already have pre-recorded some videos, so it won't just be two for the first couple of weeks. I already have pre-recorded videos. So that'll be good. We'll get it. We'll be able to kind of keep the five videos a day rolling for a while here. But I still got eight weeks and of summer. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Banglin. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, your majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that. The fail Elen, Kedmil Fali, Gladiv Dorn Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request. It was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well. Do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next.
So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt. Forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry. We'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Alright, off to Kaer Morhen. Uh, I don't even, I'm not even going to try to figure out where I was with talking. I'm just going to let that go, but actually progressing pretty quick here. So we'll revive Ava, we'll, uh, I think, what, we got to help Eskel and what's his, what's his face? Um, and then we get, we awaken Avalok and then we go and get Ciri off of Temple Isle. Actually, probably only have like 10 more episodes. After this one, I think 11 if you include this one. Go there, Roach. Alright. Fork tails this close to the fortress? Someone's been slacking off. Quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. <laughs> mm. What have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... <laughs> now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Things sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see you, jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things, through the bed, off the balcony. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm hmm And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Alright, so let's go ahead and head up. We'll complete Yennefer's in this episode, and then we'll, I'll try to do... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's even possible to do Eskel's and Lambert's in the same ep episode. They're just kind of along. The finding the fork tail is kind of long... And then going all the way up to the top of that mountain is kind of long, because you have to fight Old Spiritic. And that just, that that fight takes a while no matter what difficulty you're on. And what am I doing? <laughs> Get up here, okay. No, stop it. Okay. 
Let's head up and talk to Yennefer. No, I'm not even to the... I'm not even actually to the castle yet. Okay. Let's go ahead, go around this way, up here. But, like I was saying, um, I think we got about 11 episodes of this left. Uh, I might make it 12 just so it's three episodes a day for four more days. I think that would probably work out better. Uh, and so, I actually probably have this all finished up by the time that I get to my long weekend. Uh, where I can, where I'm just gonna do a ton, a ton, a ton of bulk recording, uh, because right now I'm cutting it extremely close daily to actually get the videos, the five videos daily. Uh, for a while there, it was kind of slipping up. I'd have like three Fallout and a Witcher, or three Witcher and a Fallout, or something like that, or two Witchers and a Fallout. Uh, but I think I'm back to being at least kind of consistent on time uh, today and tomorrow. God damn it, you piece of shit! Uh oh. I already have today's and tomorrow's videos recorded, so I do do have some time saved there. <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. All right. I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Alright. So we need to fight. Why? Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, why is my- my camera was turning like this slow. And I was like, what is going on? I think it was just the location that I had the camera when I walked down the stairs and then it kind of camera locked me. But, to, uh, so I'm going to bulk record this weekend. I'm going to record a bunch of Fallout New Vegas. I'm going to record a bunch of uh, Dead Space. Hopefully, I'm going to finish Dead Space 2, obviously, and probably start Dead Space 3. And then I might record some Dark Souls uh, because I do, I don't know if I'm going to do a new playthrough of Dark Souls or if I'm just going to... Okay, I need to take this thing out. So, found a but real quick, right before I use all. it on this thing, um, I don't oh, know if I'm gonna just. Uh -huh. I'm gonna. Getting warmer. Shut up, girl. Warmer. Shut up. Hold Hot. on. I don't know if I'm gonna do a whole new Dark Souls playthrough, or if I. I know I'm gonna do my No Death No Bonfire because I want to get that stuff on uh, on current gen. Uh, not on, only on 360, uh, but then I don't know if I'm gonna do my New Game Plus Plus playthrough, or if I'm just gonna start a whole new character, I don't know. Let's go ahead and examine. Ah, uh, there you are. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the Megascope doesn't work. Alright, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. 
How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. <laughs> Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Alright, head back to Yennefer. But, so, I'm just gonna, I, I decided to take this weekend, I'm just gonna relax. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I might have one of my friends over, uh, and he, uh, he'll play his PS4 while I record. Um, and then I'll talk to him, or we'll do stuff. Uh, between or before or after episodes, but no, like really get off of work and get done with physical therapy at like 3 on Friday Or no, I'd be home at like 4 and then I'm gonna stay up to like 4 in the morning and just do recording and play Xbox and all that and I'm gonna do the same thing on Saturday. I'm gonna get up at like 8 and record until like 4 in the morning and then sleep all day Sunday <laughs> Thank you seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs Lambert left them by the beds Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? No, he probably knew. But that's the sort of prank you only pull on someone you like. You don't suppose he... Lambert? Really? I'm flattered. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kegnell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwyn and Glade? Hey there, Ida. Geralt! It matters not, Yennefer. I've grown accustomed to human... Decorum. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gled of dawn eptenid bondro isne iachus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes. In legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us, with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Va fail. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request... Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh, enough. Finish whatever it was you and the boys were planning to do. Then we'll begin. <laughs>